In July 2019, I saw a dog laying down beside some parked cars at a very busy intersection. I called him and he came to me very happy and friendly. As I was feeding him, I looked around and I saw in front of me a big field and in the middle of the field, there was a big black dog looking at me. I noticed that he had something tied up around his neck. Right away, I knew that he needed help. This is where he lives. Come, come I started calling him and I showed him the food, but he didn't come close to it. He looked hungry and thirsty and very scared. Come on, come here, come here. I was told that the dog with the scar was abused and the black dog in the fields was a bad dog and people were trying to kill him. The dog on the street, I picked him up and I found myself walking with him to the car. I put scar in the car but the dog in the fields kept the distance. I promised the other dog that I will come back for him. I spent many days trying to get close to him. Hello, mommy. Hello, mommy. Come, la mama. Come, la mommy. Come, la mommy. I feel la mommy. Vino. Come, la mommy. Come. But it was impossible. He was very afraid. Next couple days, I didn't see the black dog. I waited around, I called him, but he didn't come. My heart stopped, and I started to walk in the fields to see if I can see the black dog. Finally, he came out and looked at me with brown, innocent eyes. Came out of the fields for the first time following me and I could clearly see that he was begging me not to leave him there. I removed the tight thing around his neck. I left to Canada, but I knew I left them in good hands. I came back to Romania to pick them up after three weeks. We drove to over four hours to Bucharest. This was the first time for Scar and Shine in a car. They've been so good. They behaved like they knew that was their trip home. Scar and Shine arrived in Canada after 23 hours of travel. Like, comment, and subscribe.